It's the middle of August and Dennis Hohenschild is preparing his team for the 2013 season. The fall has brought a renewed energy to the team, an energy personified in seven new faces. Volleyball-wise, skill-wise, it's a very talented group. Part of the, I think, the problem a little bit last year is that we didn't have a lot of depth and a lot of uh, battles going on for positions and I think every day the girls have to be pretty good because there's someone behind them ready to take their spot that wants to play. Opposing teams will feel the impact of the Cavalier freshmen from day one as outside hitters Haley Cole and Jasmine Burton are battling for spots in the starting lineup. But not all the new faces are freshmen. Sophomore setter Lauren Fuller is a new face to everyone on the team except her twin sister Manon. Lauren and Manon were teammates at Marymount High School on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. The twins originally planned to attend Santa Clara and remain teammates, but then things changed. One thing kind of led to another and we both just decided that it would probably be best for us to try different things. It was just too comfortable for me and I wanted to kind of push the boundaries a little bit and try something new. I want to come to Virginia because of the academics and just the overall um, atmosphere. I love the campus. I really wanted to stay closer to home, so I decided to go to Arizona. With 2,000 miles separating them, Manon began her career at Virginia, while Lauren had a successful first season in the Volleyball Super Conference, the Pac-12. It was hard. Uh, I guess I didn't have somebody, if I was having a bad day, like I didn't really have somebody that I could go like, you know, in person, have a conversation with. I'd have to do it over the phone, which is hard because we've been together our whole lives. We've never been separated. We really missed each other. We texted every day after every class. We called each other every day. Manon was always telling me, like, how much she loved Virginia. Ultimately, Lauren decided to transfer. Virginia was where she wanted to be. After visiting her sister on their shared birthday, and meeting with the Virginia coaching staff, the chips started to fall into place. When Manon mentioned that Lauren might be um, interested in coming to Virginia, um, you know, she's the caliber of player that, you know, can, can change the prospectus of your team, you know, so it was a no-brainer for us. I remember getting the call, I was in my dorm room, and he was saying, like, we got you in, like, you're all good to come. I, I was just so happy. Lauren called me right when she got in, and. Yeah, a little celebration. <laughs> it feels right now. I have known the coach for 20 years. Mitch is a very good coach, so they'll be very prepared, okay? This is what it's all about, right? It's what it's all about, it's playing. And so you gotta have some fun, and you want people to come and watch you play, right? You were terrible last year, and people came and watched you play. Imagine if you're good, right? Who's on three, one, two, three, who's? Facing a Marshall team that finished five games over 500 a year ago, California native Jasmine Burton gets the start at outside hitter, while Lauren Fuller has won the starting setter job. It isn't long before the newcomers make an impact. Tied at 17 in the opening set, Burton and junior standout Tori Janowski take over for the Cavaliers as eight straight points give the Hoos a one set lead. Set two sees a similar script as Janowski leads an eight to two run to put the thundering herd on the brink of defeat. You gained a little momentum here by being smart, right? And doing some good things. Blocking, trans, getting good swings. That's what it takes right now. Us being a little smarter than them right now. But Marshall storms back in the third set, taking a 14-7 lead and threatening to extend the match. People aren't afraid of you, understand that, okay? Until you start beating them, right? Then they'll get afraid of you, and then they'll fall, all right? And they'll be like, let's get out of here. Does it feel like this team's ready to get out of here? No, oh, okay, let's go, all right? It's not right here. Hohenschelt's speech rallied the troops, and the Cavaliers battled back. As Janowski and Burton continued their big nights, Junior Captain Mallory Woolridge placed her stamp on a memorable evening at Mem Gym. With the momentum of an opening night victory, the Cavaliers went on to win the Jefferson Cup and start their season 3-0. Janowski was named the tournament MVP 
and Friday night's third set comeback was the lasting image of the weekend. It showed a lot of heart. I think the, you know, we realize it, the girls realize it, and you know, the fans realize that we're here to, to win games and to work hard, compete, and uh, you know, I think this weekend the girls showed that talent-wise that that's what we're going to do this year.